hey what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's build it so in today's video we are going to learn about localization uh, so in my last video i have shown you how you can use localization if you are using the storyboards but if you are not using the storyboards like uh, i have so i have deleted the storyboard file from here uh, actually let me show you with a new project so we will learn about how you can use localization uh, in your project if you are not using the uh, storyboards and you are uh, creating your ui using the code only so i am giving the name localization dem uh, demo but i think i have the same name so maybe tutorial uh, it's a interface is storyboard right now we will delete it after creating the project so just create it <coughs> and actually let me close this one so we have this brand new project here so let me first delete this main.storyboard file from here and as well as you have to remove it from info playlist uh, the first place is this you will remove it by clicking on the minus button and uh, inside here uh, as well scene configuration application session role item zero and the storyboard name so just click on this minus button and you will be uh, fine to go uh, now we need to set this view controller as our initial view controller so let me first give it a background color so when we launch the application we can identify if it is uh, correctly loaded or not <clears throat> so if it it will be correctly uh, correctly loaded then it will show us uh, system yellow color now let me remove this code and uh, actually let me copy this code from here you have to uh, write this code in uh, in terms to set your initial controller in the scene delegate so if in the previous uh, xcode versions you have uh, you uh, did this job in app delegate but uh, i think prior from xcode 11 you have to do it in uh, scene delegate so it is nothing like we are uh, we are just accessing the scene uh, as a ui window scene then we are uh, initializing this window object that we have by default in scene delegate <coughs> We are assigning this window scene with this object that we have uh, created here we are creating the view controller uh, initializing uh, this view controller and setting it uh, as a root view controller of window and this is just normal stuff so you don't have to access the storyboard if you are uh, using uh, creating your ui using the code only okay so let's first create some uh, labels here so let me quickly uh, create some labels uh, maybe title that is a ui label and we will create it using the code ui label and returning it as it is okay now i will add it on view and you have to make this property false all right and here comes the code to add this uh, label on the ui using the constraints so the top constraint top anchor should be equal to views top con constraint and i'm giving padding of 20 pixel don't forget to activate it otherwise uh, this con constraint uh, won't work leading anchor constraint equal to view dot leading anchor and here is also 20 and the same thing will be applied for the trailing an anchor trailing or you can say the uh, right side anchor so it will be equal to views trailing anchor and the pad, uh, padding will be 20 
all right and we also have to give some height so height anchor constraint equal to here we will use the constant value yeah this one so i am giving it 40 and is active true okay <coughs> oh uh, you cannot use the title because it is a default property of uiv controller so you can instead use title label like this and uh, then okay let's do it with the uh, one label for the demonstration it, it will be fine so let's give it a uh, some kind of text this is my title okay let's try to run it now on iPhone 11 <clears throat> so it is built successfully and uh, we should show a yellow background and yeah this is my title so it is appearing a little bit uh, from this so instead of top anchor we uh, we need to give it a safe area and uh, insets and top it should work no yeah so it will <coughs> keep the padding uh, padding of 20 from the safe area and now it looks fine you can give it to white again so uh, it is showing in uh, english right now because we have uh, constantly given it uh, this title so how we will uh, like localize this title uh, according to the language we are using on the iPhone okay so you have to do just uh, click on the new file and select the string file make sure you give the exact name that I have given uh, otherwise it won't recognize by the Xcode I don't know why but you have to use this uh, same name <clears throat> it's localizable hit create you will see this kind of file uh, localizable dot string file here I will use controller dot controller dot uh, maybe navigation dot title you can uh, give any unique identifier here any unique key that you can identify uh, for uh, for which purpose uh, this key is, uh, key was okay so for <coughs> actually before giving this you have to make it localizable string so just click here and go to this uh, this tab uh, this is uh, the file inspector tab okay and click on the localize so now this file is localizable and now you have to go here click on the project in the project section click on the project name and uh, click on the plus button and you can see all the available languages for localization uh, for example we can use Italian you can uh, keep it or remove it from here uh, launch dot uh, launch screen storyboard so for now i am unselecting it because we only want to localize this localizable string click on the finish and here you can see it is added and you can also see the expand button uh, this icon is also appearing uh, with this localizable string click on this and here we have two files the english one and the italian one so you can write uh, like controller dot title okay just keep it uh, short and simple and i will copy this one and paste it here and i will just copy this uh, whole string 
and paste it in Italian but we will need a uh, Italian translation for this string so I will go on Google and uh, maybe we can use translator from English to Italian so this is Italian I don't know if it is correct or not but we can use it as it is just copy and paste it here all right so now how we will access this localizable strings so now i will create an extension or maybe uh, we can create an uh, sorry class <coughs> we will create a class named l10n so l10n if you are wondering what uh, l10n is so it is stands for uh, localization because it has like 12 uh, characters in localization uh, string so you can use a simplified version here uh, so class l10n we will use static let you can even directly use uh, access this localizable string here uh, in your code or i'm showing you a more org organized way to use the localization so you can say uh, controller title you can make it more organized by uh, uh, creating the extensions and uh, creating the uh, like classes inside this class uh, for each controller so it will be more organized uh, so this is an s localizable localized string so here goes the key and what is the key this one we will use this key just paste it here and comment is optional uh, so you can write for your uh, reference uh, this is controller title okay and i'm going to use this l10 and dot controller title here like this let me try to run it on iphone 11 first so it is showing in english now let me change the language so we want italian wait for until uh, the simulator reloads and now let's hit the run button and it should be yeah it's working fine you can see so you can add as many as you uh, you want in the localization here just click on the plus button and add uh, select the language uh, the selected language file will be appear here and you can add the translation in the same uh, like for the same titles or any key you have already in your project so you can uh, you can see how easy it is uh, if you have any uh, question or uh, if you have any doubt you can uh, leave a comment in the uh, comment box below okay and thank you so much